Hey, what's up guys? Brian here from The Design Care, and today I'm gonna to show you how to create a basic uh, office space using SketchUp Pro. If you don't have SketchUp Pro, don't worry, you can check out their 30-day free trial and just give it a try. All right, I'll see you inside. So basically by the end of this tutorial, you're gonna have the power to conceptualize all sorts of rooms, or at least that's what I'm hoping will happen. Now, if you find that maybe some of the basic tools or um, in general, just kind of like the interface navigation is a little bit beyond you at this point, no problem at all. We have uh, SketchUp Launch, which is a free uh, tutorial series inside the Design Cure. You can find it at designcure.com. And that's gonna just walk you through a seven day series of just getting you up and running with uh, SketchUp Pro. But by all means, give this a shot. Um, go ahead and download the uh, project file, which is just above this video, and that'll show you, it, um, you know, it'll just give you something to follow along with. Beyond all that, let's go ahead and get started and dive right in today, okay? So go ahead and download that file, and I'll see you inside. So open up SketchUp, and let's get started. So we're gonna start with the floor. I'll go ahead and grab that rectangle tool and draw out a rough shape for the floor. So I'm gonna use the rectangle tool and just drag this out. And I should be seeing my measurement box down here, but I can't. So I'm gonna make sure my whole interface is showing. There we go, that's a little bit better. So now what I wanna do is make sure that this is, you know, somewhat of an office size. I'll start by just using the measurement tool here. Click one side and click the other, and I can see it's 154 feet long, and that's way too big. So I'm gonna click on the end and resize this model to, let's say, let's go with 20 feet. Should be a pretty comfortable office. Do you want to resize the model? Yes, I do. Now I'm going to click on the uh, zoom extents tool right up here. So that gives me, uh, zooms me into my model. All right, so let's just think of this as the floor. Now I want to teach you a new tool and it's called the what is this? offset tool. So using the offset tool, we are going to create a thickness for the walls. So the offset tool is pretty cool because any shape that you have, you can actually offset it to create another edge that is almost exactly the same or is exactly the same, just at a different scale. You can go bigger or smaller. Um, so we're going to go a little bit smaller at this point. Uh, and you can see down in the measurement box, you can actually measure how thick your walls are going to be here. Uh, so let's just go with a nice, I don't know, six, seven inches. It should be pretty good for us. Uh, and then I'm going to switch over to the perspective view. So we'll go to camera, go to perspective, and then I'm going to click my center mouse wheel and zoom around here. So now I can see this thing as we're building it in real time, in real space. Um, so I figured that this wall was going to be 20 feet long, but maybe I want this one to be a little bit longer as well. So right now let's measure it out. We have about 13 feet. So let's just make it a nice even 20 by 20 room. So this time I'm gonna use the move tool. I'm gonna select this piece here and then pull it out, making sure that I'm on the green axis. I'm gonna hit the left arrow. There we go. And I wanna make sure that I'm adding another 10 feet to that. Cool. So I want to do the same thing with this middle line. Again, I'll hit 10 feet, and that should give me a, an exact square. So now I have uh, my, my office layout, and I want to start to raise up these walls. So the next step is I'm going to use the push-pull tool and click here on the side and raise this wall up. And again, you can notice in the dimensions box down in the bottom right, and see how far we're going. I think 10 feet should be pretty good for my office. Now you guys could do whatever office type you want. You can make it a circular office or whatever you want. So my office needs a window. I have to be able to look outside, so I'm gonna put some windows into my office. All right, so I'm gonna make a nice big shape here. Um, and again, I could use a guideline, so let's use the measurement tool, drag from here out, and let's do, uh, since this is a 10 foot or 20 foot wall, let's do I don't know, let's go three feet in, so I'll just type three feet there from that side, and then this way we can do the same thing, and it snapped there for me. 
So it kind of gets what, you're, what I'm trying to do. Now from the top, let's go down. And maybe we could do, let's just do two feet from the top. There we go. And the same from the bottom. Whoops. If it's not snapping for you on the right axis, I'm gonna, you can hit the arrow key. So again, I want to go up vertically. And two feet is what I want. Perfect. So that's basically what I want for my window. So you can see how the measurement tool comes in handy there. And from here, I'm going to click on the rectangle tool and go ahead and snap to this point. Whoops. So you can see how I'm drawing in a very strange angle here. Now this brings up a really good point that I want to show you guys. Um, it's easy to make this mistake. And so I just want to show you real quick how to correct it. So one problem I have here is that the guide is not actually on this wall. So I'm going to have to move that or actually I'm just going to delete it and redraw the guide. Now this is a problem because when we try to snap our window to it, it's going to cause a problem. So again, I want to make sure I'm on the actual edge. I'm going to go down to two feet and there we go. So now all my guides are on the wall and from here I can draw my window out using a rectangle tool. So I'll click there click there and there we go now to actually create a window here we have to put a hole in the wall so here's a little trick to do that you got to use the push pull tool obviously and from there you click and you drag in now here's the trick you got to kind of come up here to the top and you want to make sure that you align perfectly to the outside edge of this wall and to do that you can just kind of come up here and it should snap to this edge and then once you do that you'll find that it disappears if you don't do it that way and you try to push through, you're going to end up with a pretty funky looking wall here. So don't do that. When you drag it through, come up here and click to this point and it'll disappear. Perfect. So I have a nice big window there. Now it's time to add some furniture. Well, my friends, if I did my job right today, that means that you're feeling empowered enough to continue on this journey towards building a skill set that is going to bring you as much joy and freedom as it's brought me over the years. So taking the class today was a great first step. But don't stop there. Take the free SketchUp Launch class and let's build your interior design modeling foundation up together. Myself, the training team, and a whole bunch of other classmates of yours are waiting for you inside the academy. So go ahead and join now by clicking the link below and I'll see you inside.